Okay. So I got my potatoes. Pulled the big weeds out. The little ones that you see. They're just winter weeds and once they're covered up, they're dead for the season. Then, right through here, just put a small band of fertilizer. I'll come out to about here with my hoe and I'll pull the dirt up to about right there on the plant. And I'll do that on both sides. That'll give me a nice heel because the tomatoes or potatoes are going to make from where they sprouted from the cutting all the way up to where I stopped with the soil. Which so far will be right up in here. And I'll probably come back in about another three weeks and do this one more time with another touch off a of, touch up of fertilizer and top off of dirt. And by then they should be about this tall. Because right now they're roughly eight to ten inches. So when they get to be about 12 to 14 inches I'll come back and heal them up one more time and that'll be it for the season and then a few weeks later I should be eating potatoes here you can see my fertilizer a little bit better I mean it's just a it's not a lot it's a little bit and I use 5 10 15 and like I said these are all winter cold season weeds once I cover them up they're not going to sprout back through the ground they're they're pretty much dead I came through when I took the tall ones that might have had a top left I took them out along with the few summertime grasses like lawn grass that's still coming up from last year throw that over there maybe it'll dry out before it rains on it so these potatoes are looking pretty good compared to what I thought I was going to have because this soil really is pitiful. It needs a lot of work. But you can see the frost we had a couple weeks ago. It, it, it nipped them just a little bit, but not too bad. The worst part was was down here it nipped a few plants pretty hard but as you can see they all look nice and healthy now to get over here to my onions and get these weeds I'll probably wind up weeding them first tomorrow before I heal up my potatoes that way I can get all of these weeds in the middle that you see out of the way that way I don't heal any of them up on my potatoes get my onions cleaned up again there's a nice one starting to bulb there I need to come through and pull this dirt away from them so that they'll bulb up even bigger and there's where I pulled the collards up Here's some leftover turnips. Seeing if I get a few roots out of them before they bolt. If they do, I might have a pot of turnips and the old pig might have a couple roots. As you can see, there's my mustard. It's going to bolt like there's no tomorrow. So I gotta get that pulled up work on that this weekend and these cabbage should have been twice this size but poor soil and late planting does not make for a good head of cabbage but being a single man they're single serving size so just right for me and my mysterious half row of beets And look who decided they couldn't stand it that I was in the garden. So they come out the fence. 
How they got that gate door open, I don't know, because I had it wired shut. Well, guys, Pam, why are you eating my fig tree? Guys, it's time for me to go. I got to get these girls put back in their pen. Thanks for stopping by. She caught me watching her. She didn't like that. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, this is Morgan with Agape Farm. Remember, so do I. No better place on that Sunday to be than church of your choice. Giving praise and thanks to the Lord for the blessings that we don't deserve, guys. Without Him, none of this would be possible. Until next time.